Hi, I'm Marlana, and with the holidays fast approaching, this seems like the perfect time to talk about families. Between 24 and 36 months, your older toddler's sense of self and others will be growing by leaps and bounds. In their second year, your toddler will start to take notice of the people and places outside the front door, and in fact, sometimes those people outside the front door come right through the front door and stay for a holiday dinner. Just after their second birthday, you can expect your older toddler to act shy around new people, but you may also find they willingly accept new people if you prepare them in advance by talking about the people they're being introduced to. You're always going to be ahead of the game if you have strategies prepared in advance to help your child when their emotional reactions become socially inappropriate. They do have a lot of social and emotional growing to do in this second year, so remind yourself that it's all new to them. They have to learn it, and then they have to practice it over and over again before those behaviors become second nature. In the second half of the second year, your older toddler will begin to show some hard-won growth. They will start to do things like say please and thank you, sharing and taking turns, and using their words to express their emotions will happen a little more frequently. Now there are still two-year-olds, they still have some stuff to learn, but keep up that patient instruction and the loving support and your child will be well on their way to becoming a secure, confident, and happy. Now social situations like holidays can be hard for us as adults, so imagine how difficult it is for your two-year-old. So prepare them when you can. And for my idea today, you want to ask family members to mail your child pictures of themselves. Kids love to get mail, and it will give you the opportunity to talk about the people that they will be looking at in the pictures they receive. Families are all unique, and that's a beautiful thing. And while you're helping your child learn who is in the family, you can also teach them about what it is that makes your family special and unique from all the other social groups in their world. So, you'll want to get something to display those pictures on. I'm making a welcome wreath. I cut the center out of a sturdy paper plate and decorated it with some paper flowers I cut out. And then you'll want to ask your child to help you glue pictures of family members around the edge. And while you're doing that, here are some things you might want to consider talking about. Physical characteristics might be easy and obvious. Maybe somebody has red hair, just like your child. Or maybe it's dimples, or the way they hold their head. You could talk about things your family does, values and things that are important to you as a group, like reading or maybe volunteering. Talk about their place in the family. In their sibling group, are they the oldest, the youngest, or the middle? You might want to talk about the ways your family likes to play together. Does grandma blow bubbles? Do you like to swim? Do you like to hike? You can talk about special interests, skills and talents and hobbies like art or music. And if someone in the family has a, a pet, you might want to introduce the pet as well. It will help the child remember who the pet belongs to. It will prepare them before a strange animal potentially comes into the house. And always remember the cousins. They're likely to be your child's first playmates. And that's so important. Just like building your child's sense of self and belonging, those are so important too. It helps them become socially strong and emotionally secure. And what better way to do that than talking about the people who love them, who will be there with them always, and who will laugh and learn and play and grow with them. Thank you so much. Happy Holidays!